Okay, so welcome. This is seriously one of my favorite days in the whole world, whether it's my quilts or somebody else's quilts, because just having them hung in this environment is just so soothing and calming after <laughs> such a really energetic and exciting week. So, um, but due to the fact that we have trees and such, this is pretty much in chronological order, but there might be a few hiccups in there um, of my life because of uh, fitting in the trees. So, um, <laughs> uh, so what I will share a little bit about the quilts as we go along, um, starting off with, of course, some of the, the first two quilts I really dove me into this career with my mom, the one, Wildflowers right over there was the one that I designed for my online book but did not want to sew at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, so that book was Everything Flowers way back when, and I was still in college, and I was teased a lot by my artist friends in, in my art school that said, oh, quilts. And I had a profession, professor that um, was like, oh, do you actually make money on that? And um, <laughs> it was because I did it during my junior year. So my senior year, I started making royalties and I got an impossible on camera. And I was like, it, like new views, right? But yeah, there's my royalties. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I got a lot of grief, but I realized that it's something that I love. And um, as an artist, just because I went to art school doesn't mean I have to make a social and political statement. I can make something beautiful. And I'm still making a living at my art, so poo poo to all them. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> when um, I got out of school, I went to North Carolina. Um, I had a boyfriend that was going to college there, so I thought, oh, we'll get a job in photography. And, um, Mom and I were still working on our books, and I couldn't get a job in photography, so I ended up in a quilt shop, working at a quilt shop. And that's when I made this quilt, Memories of My Mother's Garden, um, for our book, Through the Garden Gate. So that was kind of my first dive into really designing my own, jumping into it. And at that time, I, because um, I was working in a quilt shop, I really loved fabric. So I started um, designing fabric. So if you listen, if you're coming for the lecture afterwards, you'll hear all about that career. So for now, we'll just talk about quilts. So, um, obviously Stitch and Flip was one of my passions because then it led into an entire book about Stitch and Flip. Those two are from that book. Um, Autumn Aspens, which actually was inspired by my stepdad because he had been driving over the pass and said, you have to go see the leaves changing. Because up on the Sandy Pass, you get the lava and the color of the leaves changing. It was really inspirational. Yeah. So, um, then as we travel along into my career, um, as I was designing fabric, I also started getting interested in the blocks. My mom was doing Karen Stone's patterns, which I loved, but I really had this deep desire to do my own because I liked how she would take them and do all these different things in there. And I'm like, gosh, what a cool way to create something different, kind of like a stitching book. I like one little crazy batch block and expanded it. So I started, mom gave me the basics on how to draft a block. She's good. She gives me the basics and then lets me go. Doesn't intimidate me, doesn't say it's hard, and then I end up creating all sorts of stuff. So, okay, so we're going to start this way now. More of my quilts that I um, designed as I was creating fabric. And this one is um, one of my favorites because it was the first collection I ever painted. Um, I had been designing fabrics for several years and had decided that. I wanted to go beyond someone else painting it, so I had more of my hands. So that was Florentina, which was the first one I painted. And I really liked big designs, so I started making lots of big. <laughs> and flowers, because that was my inspiration when you live here. Part of the New um, book, and it's also from one of my collections called Mariposa, The Free Spirit. Mm. And we have a few more of my New York beauties. Um, this one on the end has one of my favorite fabrics that I did in the early on with Quilters Only. And it was when they used my photographs as inspiration <laughs> as opposed to me actually doing any of the drawing or the repeats or anything like that. 
And I loved how they captured all, out of my photographs the frog, even though it's upside down. Um, yeah, my breath. I, I had been, I had an awesome crew this morning, and my brother would not have noticed that this was upside down. So. <laughs> but I love him for being here. This was another. I had collected all these funky Asian fabrics when I was doing my New York Beauty um, quilt, and wanted to show how you can do New York Beauty with prints. Um, that are little, but then also how you can focus on some main prints and still have something interesting. So, and move one. another one of um, many of these with our collection. And obviously, like I said, I went through a whole phase, kind of in of an obsessive personality, um, whereas I get into a subject and I just really get into it and tell <laughs> and Obviously, big florals was a huge part of my fabric designing obsessions. <laughs>
and um, and then the one next to it, which was Blueprint Basics. And then as we move along, you'll see the rest of the Blueprint Basics. Uh, and then that was Ashton Road, which was really inspired by my son, but um, probably one of my favorite photo shoots I ever did with my kids with that collection of fabric. Um, and then there's Jewels and Indigo, which I kind of reinvented my elephants that I had done years ago with um, Free Spirit. I made them a little bit smaller and um, pepped them up a little. So, And then these last two are Lucy and Ollie, which is a pretty recent collection that I did, and it was all block printed, which is how I design fabric now, is I cut blocks and I print, and then we turn them into fabric. So, yeah. And I was really them? into triangles that, that year. So how do you decide to name them? So both of these two are from the Blueprint Basics collection that I did with Robert Kaufman and I split it up into seasons. So the one over there was spring and this was winter and then I did an entire trip around the world with all of the seasons. So this is one of those different than my trip around the world there because that was like two and a half inch squares that you sew all together. Whereas this you can do in strips because all four corners are exactly the same. So, um, uh, but I don't think I'll ever do one. I shouldn't say that. I'm pretty sure <laughs> I'm not gonna do one with the two and a half inch squares over again. <laughs> but it still was a um, cool process. So, so that, um, so Jasmine was designed after my second trip to Morocco and it is also done with block prints, so, um, and a lot of layering and stuff like that. These two are from my book, the My Life in Fabric. That one has screen printing across the top of it, and this was just this weird freeform thing that I made, and I'm like, oh, interesting. Let's see if I can write instructions for that one. Um, and it ended up working great. But that is definitely an example of crossing your lines. Because <laughs> yeah. I, and it was actually really fun because I had a hard time deciding how to put that because I'm like, okay, so you can either, you know, do something separate in the gray background or do you want it all to fit together? So um, I think I just was like, I'm just thinking about lines and movement and just that sort of flowing sort of feel. So that's kind of how that quilting came about. I mean, I look at it now and I'm like, God, oh, there's so many other possibilities you could have done, <laughs> but mm. I like it. <laughs> And then the three right here, I'll just explain them, and then we'll walk down to the last section. These three right here are from a collection called Marks that my mom and I did together with Kaufman. Um, and that was the first one that I actually did, we actually did with block printing. So it was kind of like, uh, let's try this and see if it'll work. Um, and so I made a quote called Mark Maker, which was this first one in the blue. and. I loved it so much, so I made out of each palette. So that's what these three are as you come along. And these are all inspired by my um, travels to Morocco. Um, and the rugs and the people and all of the design and tile work and art. Um, these three here were after my first trip and that collection is called Mystic. And um, I just fell in love with the color there, but also the neutrals were <laughs> stunning. Um, and then this guy is one of the ones from Jasmine, which was the second trip I went on. Um, and it's all block printed fabric. You can see the camels and the in the oh, yeah. like in the triangle, the big triangle pieces there. Um, so yeah, my travels have become a huge influence in my fabric design, as well as my quilt design. Um, and I have a few quilts um, for the lecture next that that show my new fabric collection that also has a lot of that influence in it. So, do anybody have any questions about? The